Phrase Express can expand abbreviation into longer text. Like in this example, I want to expand PEX into Phrase Express. Hmm, that didn't work. So let's use this video as a troubleshooting guide. First of all, we need to check whether Phrase Express is running at all. If Phrase Express is running, you should see a speech bubble icon with an exclamation mark in the lower right of your taskbar. Well, it isn't here. Let's check in the submenu here. If you click the rectangle, there's still no Phrase Express icon. So a good start would be to actually launch Phrase Express because it needs to be running in the background to provide its functionality. So if you see the exclamation mark within the speech bubble, Phrase Express has loaded all phrases. However, there's an additional warning sign. Let's hover the icon to see more information. Ah, okay, the entire Phrase Express program has been disabled for WordPad. So let's follow the instruction and right click the tray icon to configure that. Here you can see that the check mark is missing here. If I click on it, Phrase Express guides me to the global program restrictions dialog and I can configure it here. Let's release all program restrictions for Phrase Express. Okay, so the warning symbol disappeared. Let's try again. P E X space. Hmm. Nothing happens. So let's open the main program window with a right click and select open program window. Nothing suspicious here. Now let's browse to the phrase. Here it is. Wow, you don't see any auto text or hotkey configuration. This is because this little symbol here, and if you highlight the parent folder, you see that the auto text and the hotkeys have, have been disabled for this folder. So we click here to enable it again. Now let's go back to the phrase. And the first thing I notice is that there is a program restriction, which you can see by the dark gray background underneath the button here. So I click on it. This particular phrase has been excluded from WordPad. That's a program I just tried to use that phrase. So again, I release the program restriction and the dark background disappeared from the program restrictions icon. And while we're here, let's check the auto text. Ah, here's a typo. That was an easy one. And you may also want to check the configuration. The blue background tells you that the auto text is case sensitive. You can either switch it on or switch it off. And here we, we are told that the expert options have been applied to the auto text. I click and click here to configure those expert options. And here you can see that Phrase Express expect typing any number following the auto text, like PX9, which doesn't make sense here. So we revert it to default. And it may be a good idea to have this particular auto text not be auto expanded, but only after manual confirmation. Okay, let's try that again. I type in the abbreviation, and after the default delimiter, Phrase Express offers me to expand this abbreviation. If I confirm with the confirmation key, which is tapped by default, it will be expanded. Wonderful. 